Yo, good morning everybody, it's Charlie checking in. Happy Tuesday right there to every single one of you. Mwah! Right there to my wolf pack, and right there to my cuckers, man. Hopefully y'all having a great day, man. It was blessed, y'all woke up on the right side of the bed and everything is good, man. Um, I woke up good, man, I'm feeling great. You know, I had a really great conversation with my friend last night, you know, I should be leaving out of here Thursday, going on to the next one, and uh, I'm just so happy and excited with this, you know, what this life is, uh, is bringing me, so. Um, I want to talk with you guys a little bit. I woke up, you know, um, screenshots and stuff like that, you know, um, spies, you know, still sending stuff out like that. The thing is, you know, I'm letting people, I'm, you know, if I, I know, I know people are sending stuff out there. So what it is, is, you know, it doesn't matter what they, what they show people. How, I'm at the point right now where if this dude, yo, bro, if you really want to be my friend, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to follow me that bad, send me a friend request. You know, send me a friend request. I'll add you, bro. If you really want to be a friend that bad, you want to see what's going on, man, just send me a friend request. Because <laughs> uh, it's kind of sad, you know what I mean? If you just All you got to do is ask, man. Don't be sitting on the sidelines, you know, just kind of kicking your feet and like, oh, I want to be Charlie's friend, you know what I'm saying? I want to see what Charlie's doing, you know? Just ask. You know, ask and you shall receive, man, because, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's demasculating, you know, uh, to uh, just sit there and want something and want somebody so bad, you know what I mean? But uh, but you're afraid to to go after it and do it yourself, you know what I mean? So I mean, I'll help you, man. Send me your friend request. I'll add you. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, yeah. Um, like I said, you know, I did delete a lot of friends. There's some that came to me and talked to me, and I added them back. You know, so if you feel like you're one of those, send me a message, you know, so, because uh, like I say, it doesn't matter who's spying on what or whatever. It doesn't matter. I put stuff, if you put it out there for social media, it's going to get passed around. You know what I mean? So, like I say, I'm at, I'm at the point right now, you know, where, like I said, I'm, I'm leaving. I've got a real beautiful woman that I'm going to stay with. No, no, no family, no kids. Can't mess with her job. Really pimp ass place. We're going to the Universal Studios the 27th. <laughs> and uh, man, she's so confident in her shit. You know what I'm saying? She's like, hey, tell him my name. Tell him my address. Because <laughs> don't make a crap. You got security. Uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So. Um, you know, I'm feeling really good and confident, you know, in, in my life and my decisions. And, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I say, the, you know, I love my angels, my demons, my wolf pack right there, you know. Um, Y'all make me great, you know. The haters make me greater, <laughs> you know. Um, there's there's a lot there's a lot of uh, uh, fortitude forged in, in, in compassion, but there's a lot of grit you know, uh, founded in, in uh and trial and tribulation and, and uh, a struggle, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, I like to say I, I take every bad situation and I and I flip it to a positive, you know. Um, and and it works out for me, and 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 it's showing. It is paying off in spades right now. Oh, we got here a little lizard. Hey, little buddy. See that man? Nice, beautiful morning. I wake up to man. Get to hang out with some. Oh, he done left too. Get to hang out with some nature. Life is good. Like I woke up this morning laughing like Sideshow Bob, boy. Ah, 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 ah. You want it all, but you can't have it. It's in your face, but you can't grab it. Grab it! You can't! It's not yours! Breakfast time. Grab me a banana. Ooh. Oh, boy. Look at that. So bright. Oh, God. Got my banana. Ooh, might get some pizza for breakfast. And I just want to let you guys know I found Little Monsters on Netflix. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but uh, childhood classic of mine. I'm going to tell you guys a story later how I used to torture Michael with that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, but you know what are big brothers for, you know what I mean? And uh, super funny. I got him real good one time, and I'm going to share that with you after I watch the movie. So I just got done watching Little Monsters. 
1989. I can't freaking believe it. I'm so old, man. How many of y'all have watched Little Monsters, man? Howard Mandel, Fred Savage, Ben Savage, uh, Marb from Home Alone. <laughs> That's all I'm ever going to know him as is Marb from Home Alone. Anyway, man. Uh, great slice of nostalgia, man. It was a, you know, an excellent movie coming up as a kid, man. Uh, it was a childhood classic of ours, man. You know, it's about, uh, uh, it's got Howie Mandel in it too. Howie Mandel, yeah. Howie Mandel uh, plays, uh, what the hell was the guy's name? I just, Maurice. Maurice? Yeah, Maurice. And, you know, they lives underneath the kids' beds or whatever, and they kind of have an underground network, you know, where they go around scaring kids in the middle of the night and uh, just reaffirming that whole monster thing, right? Well, <laughs> they got to see because like I used to, I used to torture Michael with it all the time, man. Because <laughs> let me tell you, there's a thing about it, right? Where uh, the monsters they roam freely after they come under your bed, they tear everything up, they get you in trouble, they throw your bikes behind your dad's car, they, you know, they put put a, a ice cream in the cabinet, you know, damn. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you about this in a second, but they turn guys, uh, uh, they, they took tuna fish out of the guy's sandwich and put cat food in it and drank the apple juice and urinated in it. <laughs> so, yeah, they're just causing all kinds of mischief. You know, it's the reason why brothers hate sisters and, and kids get locked in their rooms, the whole tagline stuff. So, anyway, man, they had this thing where, like, if you cut the lights on them, they, they, they shrink and they vanish into their clothes, okay? <laughs> Pretty much looking something kind of like this. I went ahead and got it set up for you guys. Look at that. <laughs> so you cut on the light and boom, they, they fall down. Sometimes it's, it's kind of crumpled up. Let me show you. Sometimes it's kind of crumpled up like that or however, you know, and, and, uh, and yeah. So, but anyway, I used to do it long, I used to do it long ways, you know, to really get the visual effect, right? <laughs> and like, I would just do it, you know, I'd do it, I'd cut the light off. And as soon as Michael would come in the room, he'd cut the light on, he'd see, you know, this is after we watched the movie, he'd see that pile of clothes. Under, oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> he would freak out <coughs> every single freaking time, man. I got to tell you this, man, because, uh. One time, I was real creative about it, dude. I went ahead and set all the clothes up, man, and I put them over an air vent. <laughs> and uh, I was like, Michael, look, come here, just, just look, just watch him, man. You know, I was like, just watch him. I got the light on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a bag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap him up and I'm throw him away. <laughs> so Michael's like, I got him. You know, he's got like a sticker or a knife or whatever. He's ready to stab the clothes or whatever. Should, should the need arise. And and I walk over to the uh, the AC unit and kind of. Turn up the turn up the AC, and all of a sudden those clothes jumped. <laughs> right there where the shirt was, it jumped like it was coming back to life. And Michael bolted out, man. He he had had enough, man. Tell you what, he got so mad about it, dude, that uh, this is getting back to the uh, uh, the, the urination and the and the apple juice, the apple juice, the tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> so damn. Uh, uh, I was eating tuna fish one day, just eating, you know, watching TV or whatever, and I went to get a drink, and this little fucker, man, <laughs> he got like a freaking handful of freaking cat, of dry cat food, <laughs> put it on my damn sandwich, and then ran off without me knowing, dude. <laughs> so I come back, and I take a bite out of my sandwich, and it's all crunchy. <laughs> Oh, I said, Michael, you little son of a bitch, man. But, uh, hey, man, that's what brothers do, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, kind of touched my heart. It was real sentimental, you know, today. Um, like I said, things aren't going well with my family and stuff like that. You know, there, there's been bad, but there's been a lot of good memories, too, you know. And I am the yin and the yang. I am whole. I am all, you know. I'm, I am total light and complete darkness, man. And, um, <clears throat> like I say, you know, without the... Um, without the bad, you can't appreciate the good, you know, and in this bad moment right here, um, I'm able to, I'm able to reach back and in, back into a, a, a time in history in my childhood where, um, things were a lot simpler, but things were a lot simpler and we didn't have all this crap, you know, we were just kids and we went out and had fun and we just, and we didn't give a fuck what the world thought, you know, and, um, it was a lot easier and, uh. Uh, because our li uh, life was simple and um, you know sometimes I just wish that sometimes I wish for that simplicity again also my friend Mark Kaizak just sent me a link to a hot tub party massacre so oh ooh, excuse me Mark <laughs> 
So I'm about to watch some Hot Tub Party Massacre, man. Got some boobies, some killing. Oh, boy. I'm going to let you know what I think right here uh, after I'm done, Mark. All right, so I just got done watching my friend Mark Kaizak's movie, Hot Tub Party Massacre. <laughs> Mark, I got to tell you, man, uh, it was a pretty good movie, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to just fake it because we're friends or whatever. I'm going to tell you straight up, man. It was uh, it was good, man. Uh, let you guys know, you know, it's, it's kind of a lower budget film, but uh, <laughs> that doesn't distract me. And in fact, I think that actually helps uh, movies in a lot of ways, you know, movies that they don't, they don't, they don't spend all this money on production and just try to try to suck you in with, with visuals and stuff like that. You know, these guys actually use, you know, psychology and story storyline and a little sexual or a lot of sexuality. <laughs> Love it, man. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much a hot tub party masker, you know, a uh, girl wins a uh, uh, raffle tickets, um, you know, to a nice vacation spa weekend, take some friends with her, some guys show up, you know how it goes, it's, uh, what's it, boobs, blood, and, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Pillow fight, <laughs> man. Um, like I said, all all the women in it are beautiful, man. It's amazing. Um, he's got this crap. I'm not gonna tell you what he what he, what he normally kills everybody with, but it's pretty freaking gruesome, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really don't know what else to say, man. It was it really it really was good, man. Like I say, um, uh, like lower budget, but he kept me in there. I really felt like I was in there, dude. I was I was I was in there watching all this happen. And Mark, you know, <clears throat> you got. You got <laughs> no offense, bro. You're probably gonna like it, you fucking sadist. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? You got the walk and look of a serial killer, bro. I mean, just straight the hell up, man. As soon as like when I first saw you, you know what I'm saying? Whenever she called her boyfriend over and then you showed up, I was like, damn, that guy's a fucking serial killer. <laughs> But I figured you like that, man. You say it as fast. So um, appreciate it, everybody. Check out Hot Tub uh, Party Massacre, and uh, I'm gonna send your I'm gonna send your girlfriend a uh, a friend request, man. I know you want me to add her back, man. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add her back, bro. Like I said, I unfriended a lot of people, and that goes to all y'all out there, man. There's a lot of people that I unfriended. Um, send me a request back, man. You know, like I say, damn, I really can't I really can't stop who screenshots my my stuff and sends it to what you know I, the only way i could do that is pretty much just close my facebook account down you know and that's just not gonna happen you know what i'm saying i'm i'm here i'm strong i'm all like, man so hot tub party massacre hit me up on facebook also real quick i want to give a shout out to my friend new friend noah henley from gainesville georgia <laughs> this guy went to the Waffle House and the and the and the, uh, the Motel Six right over there, all sleeping in the woods, and he found my campsite, bro. <laughs> like I said, I gave I gave all my stuff to this guy named Jesse. Uh, I guess Jesse left it out there, or he says that Jesse has the stuff or whatever. I don't know, but he did tell he 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 took pictures of every damn thing, or the the spot out in the woods that I was laying in, socks that I left, <laughs> and he showed them to me. He's like, "Yo, I found I found your campsite." And at first, I was like, "Okay, somebody's just making something." Something up you know but when I got to looking at it I was like that's my tent those are my socks <laughs> so Noah right there for you to have the gumption to go out there and actually find it you know I heard, I heard that there's a uh, somebody else out there that's kind of walking through the woods looking for their favorite bone at the head <laughs> trying to find the campsite saying that it didn't happen you know I don't give a crap I'm not the one that fakes bull crap you know all this is real F in life right here for me, bro. And Noah, man, I can't believe it, bro. You went out there and you freaking found it. it. It kind of upsets me that Jesse didn't take the stuff. You said he did, but then you got a picture. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I left the clutter behind and I moved on. So, Noah, thank you so much for uh, uh, checking it out, brother. And uh, if it's still out there, man, keep it. Maybe, maybe you can uh, maybe you can sell it or something, man. There's people out there that are trying to get my, my, my skin flakes and stuff off. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here with you for today, man. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed the story with me and Michael, uh, Little Monsters. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, check it out, man. It's really good. It's a, it's a childhood classic of mine, man, uh, and the whole family, actually, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, and I had a lot of fun, you know, retelling it. There was a little bit of bittersweet memories there. Um, but it's always good just to know that I have these feelings and these memories. I can just reach in and, and just hold them and just live on, live in them, you know, uh, once in a while. So that uh, hot tub party massacre, that was good, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> I got to let you know again, man. It was good. Y'all check out hot tub party massacre. Uh, if you're a little afraid of, you know, female nudity, you may not want to watch it because it it's kind of heavy on that. <laughs> and uh, yeah.
uh, Noah, uh, man, big ups to you right there, man. You found my campsite, bro. That is, <laughs> that is just so crazy, man. I, w I wondered, after I left, I wondered, I was like, I wonder how many people, if anyone will find this, if they're going to look it up or whatever. And you did, brother, right there, man. So much love and respect right there to my wolf pack, man. Uh, there were so many people that were doubting me. Oh, it didn't have any. That doesn't bother me because, like I said, I don't read comments. I don't watch the hate videos. I do my own thing. I am my own man. And I just want to thank you right here. You're a young guy, you know what I'm saying? But you think for yourself. You don't listen to the masses. And uh, uh, you form your own opinions. And uh, I got to say, that's real commendable for a young man like that. So, uh, um, what else? I can't really think of much else. Like I said, didn't have much going on today. Not going to have much going on. I'm leaving Thursday. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully, you know, on to be uh, better things, you know, the universe has a plan for me. And uh, I'm just I'm just ready to accept it with open arms and uh, and uh, take my take my fate uh, uh, with a smile on my face, man. And wake up with a smile on my face, go to sleep with a smile on my face. You know, people try to break you down every day, you know, and it's all about how you react and how about you have how how you take these neg negative negative uh, things and turn them into positives, you know, or you can keep them negative, you know. So all of you out there that are going through, through some things, you know, you're being attacked by people, false information, this, that, and the third, you know, just know that I'm here, man. Every single day I'm here and I'm putting these videos out for you, you know, um, not for these people that, that hate, you know. I'm doing it for somebody that can relate. You know, forget the hate. It's all about the real, the relatability. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it with you guys for today, man. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll holler at you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Also, I wanted to say, man, um, I want to give a shout-out to all my people across the pond, man, that have been affected by Ophelia, man. Um, it came through. Uh, Martina, Becca, I'm wishing you guys the best, man, and everyone else over there, bro. Uh um, it's tragic. You don't really think about it, you know, when you're, you know, when, when you're on this side of the globe, you know, but, you know, people suffer and they go through things all over the planet, you know, so uh, I'm just trying to think worldwide and to all my friends and I just want to thank you so very much and God bless you and um, uh, tomorrow is always a better day. So, holla at you tomorrow. Peace.